Hey there, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. Today, I want to talk to you about MNIS from Ritual Electronics. MNIS is what's called a shift register. To work, it will need two things, a clock. And then you need to send something to this data input. In this case, I'm going to send a LFO from the boundary that I have here. From there, it starts to work. The way it works is when the data input is higher than a certain threshold. When it receives a clock, it will output a gate. Then it will go to the next output below it. And there's eight output like this. Here I have gate number one set to trigger a kick drum on the Elixir module. And if I take gate number five, I can trigger something else. Shift register are great to create rhythms. We have this going in to the Euclidean pattern, doing some accent on the kick drum, but that's it. Great. And now, if I start to change even slightly either the tempo of the main gate or the speed of what's going into the data input, everything will change. I've now made this very slow. Here I'm sending something cyclical. I could send noise, for example, if I wanted something completely random. I will have a less pattern type thing. I prefer to stay in something that's cyclical for now. The other thing that a shift register can generate other than gates. Just changing a few just to have a new pattern. Uh, stepped voltages. Here we have a mixture of the odd gate and a mixture of the even gates that are summed together in a way that generates stepped voltages. You can use those stepped voltages for basically anything. Let's use it to control the delay time of this non-linear memory machine. I will control the smear parameter with the even one. It 
So we have a pretty weird thing going on here. We could also use one of the gates as a modulator, for example, for the dry wet control. That's well spacey. Okay, now I have a um, trigger out of the 880 that is straight on every beat. This one. That's the clock. And I'm sending the PAM random that isn't synced. So this is even more random than earlier. And I will show you the, the other thing that is quite good with shift register is to generate melodies and stepped random voltages as we said before. Let's send the odd CV to the keyboard input. Random. This will be another random, different. CV all that is a mixture of both. And a slewed one. If you have a quantizer at end, this might come in very handy to create melodies. I could decide to clock Pam. And this third output is now going to be a slow cycle. This is too slow. Here we have a pattern. one of the other stepped outputs say the all to control the filter we can also use the slew one to control the PWM let's say all this. From there we can like put a few gates together using a stack cable. So things happen more often and we can use the XOR input that's hidden over there. This adds complexity doing feedback within the module itself. One of its gates is now doing some XOR logic to the output. There's a diagram in the manual where it's well explained, and I couldn't tell you what the L is actually happening. You can hear that this is a pretty repetitive pattern and this is much less. Let's use another gate and see what happens. There's also a reset input that you can use in a feedback manner like this to create proper loops. It would be fun to use an external thing to reset, like a trigger from the 880. 
just in order to change the setup a little bit. I was pretty sure that the MNIS would pair extremely well with something like the tree body or the slappy system in general. So I've done this. This is a super simple tree note melody being sent to the center oscillator of the tree body. It's triggering this boundary, which I will loop in order to have more notes and also a bit of weird grooves. This is controlling the VCA of the 100 grid that serves as an output module. And we are listening to both sides oscillator being mixed here. I'm generating stuff here by sending the end of rise of this boundary as the clock and a cycle from this boundary as the data. And now with this CV odd I will control this one, this VCO in, that is in ratio mode. So it will start making melodies that are based on the frequency of the main one. Let's do the same thing with the other one. That's fun. We can start to change the relationship between those. Let's see what happens. different parameters, such as the FM index. accent. If we do this with a irregular clock, from the SQ1 that is driving the whole thing, it's fun. a bit less chaotic, but still chaotic. Cool, I like this patch. Okay, in this patch, which is a bit of a spaghetti fest, I have the Amnis doing lots of things. Basically, it's infesting the patch. So, the thing is that it's quite fun to experiment here with different data. What I have here is a super fast random basically noise. So it's everything is fully random. This is what happened without any data. We have a fairly normal thing going on. Now 
one thing I like to do is to patch, for example, uh, the output of our VCO. So we can see that things are happening less often. We could go a bit further with this and sending in the output of the VCF. So there's even less chance that the output here is I when the Amnes received the clock. By the way, the, the clock is a straight pulse from the 880. So we have the SLU out that is here to modulate the filter. So this is again a feedback thing. We have the first bit setting the freeze on on the superb delay here. The dry wet of the delay is also dictated by two of the output here. Could change one, let's see what happens. You can also still decide to send one of the outputs to the XOR input. This gives us a bit more mess. Oh yeah! I have the all CV doing messy thing on the timing, time stretch scrub knob of the of the scene delay. And yeah, basically with all this, just a nice living organism. back with the feedback. Let's even use one of the stepped out as a feedback source and see what this does. bit of chaos and let's change the speed of the delay because this is the one doing most of the job here That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. Many thanks to Nico at Ritual Electronics for leaving this module in my hands for a demo. It's a great module. Very small, you just need two signals to send into it and you get lots of signals to send around your system. I will make a little sample pack out of the loops I made in this video for people on Patreon. If you are interested in some teaching, some samples, whatever, feel free to check it out. It really helps keep the channel going. See you next time. Bye bye.